Hey there, it's Jimmy again. And today we've got a triple threat. Uh, three Geo Metros, all 1993s, all teal, all right next to each other at the junkyard. Sometimes we do get uh, collections at the junkyards, but usually it's someone thinning out the herd, like there'll be, you know, two, uh, whatever, Triumphs right next to each other, or four Chevys that are all the same thing right next to each other, or whatever. But seeing three Geo Metros is kind of rare, especially all the same color and all the same year. So let's uh, take a closer look at everything. But first, if you like what you see, please do subscribe and like. Leave comments down below if you'd like, and uh, we'll keep making these. Um, so these are in various states of disrepair, obviously. Um, the the uh, Metro was the replacement for the, what was it, Chevy Sprint, and it was sold as, well, I mean, the Geo Metro, the Chevy Metro originally, and then, or the Geo Metro originally, and then became the Chevy Metro later on. But this, uh, these are first generation metros, sold until what, from 89 to 94? And then uh, uh, this, these later ones, the 93s, were actually built in Canada. So obviously it's based on the Suzuki, just like the uh, Chevy Sprint was. Um, these feature three cylinder engines, one liter three cylinder engines, putting out about 55 horsepower. They are tiny little engines and uh, there's not a lot going on in the engine bay, but let's take a look at the other one. This one has its uh, uh, cam cover removed. You can see the tiny valves there, timing belt in there. Let's see what's going on with this next one over here. Here's the Geo badge, it's interesting. Look at that, a lot of road rash on the front here. I wonder how many miles are on that. We'll take a look. Here's the engine, slightly more complete, rusted uh, exhaust manifold, but again, uh, the cover is off. And we can see inside where the valves are. And again, very, well, everything's pretty compact and easy to get to. There's the uh, vacuum, hose, uh, vacuum hose routing diagram and the emissions info. See, one liter engine, um, has a catalytic converter, obviously, like anything does. And then here's the third one, also uh, with, the, with the cover. Oh, this is, oh, man, this thing weighs virtually nothing. I'd say maybe two pounds. Um, it's tiny, cast aluminum. Kind of cool. Just obviously would fit on there. Oh, that's backwards. There we go. No, oh, that's backwards. Kind of like that. So there you go. Pretty interesting. These all just have the sealed beam headlights. Little tiny ones actually, which I guess fit the size of the car. Um, but smaller than the than the bigger ones, obviously. This is a type you'd uh, frequently see, what, four of in front of a car instead of just two. But I kind of like the teal color. It's very 90s. It fits, uh, it's, a, it's a happy car. Not fast, but um, it's fun driving a slow car quick. Uh, probably more fun than driving a fast car slow, right? So let's look at the, the rest of this thing. So this one, this is probably the most beat one of the bunch. It's been in the yard here for a while. Rear window is missing. A lot of stuff's been gone. This one's interesting only because we can see really how it's just a lot of bare metal. There's not there's not a lot going on. There's not a lot between you and the elements. Everything's been kind of removed from this one already. But you know, nice big windows. You can see out of it easily enough, especially when the glass is missing. But the pillars don't really get in the way. So superb visibility. And you know, I mean, it's carpeted throughout, which isn't bad. This one's obviously a five speed. I think actually these all were. Um, little rubbery boot. Decent back seat. Not huge, but you know, it, it got people there cheaply and uh, and reliably. And here's, oh, I can't read the, the, ta the build tag anymore. But these only weighed around 1,700 pounds, I believe, so. They weighed almost nothing, got massive gas mileage, well into the 50s. And whenever, you know, whenever gas prices go up, you see the values of these things going up and these things hit the road again somehow. Um, seeing them now in the junkyard means that gas prices are coming down finally again uh, and people sort of give up on them. But let's take a look at this one. This one, as opposed to the other one, this one's more complete. Again, gray interior. So you got a full door panel, all hard plastic here, kind of softish vinyl wind-up windows 
Man, look at this. this is why I meant with the longevity of these things. The mileage, 297,000 miles. Well, 297, 320 miles. That's impressive. Almost 300,000 miles out of the little three-cylinder, one-liter engine. No air conditioning on this one. Would have had the optional button right there. I think that would have been a dealer-installed option. And again, a five-speed. And, yeah, pretty comfortable, I guess, uh, high back seat with a not a bad looking cloth it's fine not not bad at all this one can we see the tag here eh, it's pretty faded also but yeah i don't know can't can't make it all out but the tires are tiny the front rear were 145 80 12s which are hard to find nowadays so oh this is interesting this had the seat belts in the door, which was really a crappy solution. I mean, if you're in an accident and this door flies open, there's nothing holding you in the car anymore. So not not the greatest from a safety aspect. But um, yeah, decent. I mean, you had your headlight controls, your stocks for the wiper. A very basic car like this even still has blank buttons. So there's options that someone didn't get on this. But interesting. And it does have my little, one of my favorite features, which is a Japanese car thing with the antenna that pops out of the roof right there. I like that. Let's go look at the last one in the row. Again, another 93, same teal color. Paint's kind of faded on the roof. But let's look inside this one. This one, all well, the seats are gone. Rear seat's still there. There's a hubcap, the Geo, with the Geo logo on it getting to know you and this one did 212,991 miles again very impressive so if someone we don't know about the other one because the uh, whole dash is gone uh this one's pretty beat almost looks like it was underwater or you know, at least uh, exposed the elements for quite a while but everything's you know everything was here and now a lot of it's gone but you know, soon these will end up uh, with a date with a crusher and uh, what little bit of metal there was in them will be uh, recycled and become new cars or dishwashers or washing machines or, or whatever. So, there you go. Pretty interesting. I like this little history of the, uh, the Geo. We featured one before, but I think that was a five door a couple years ago, a white one. So check that one out if it's interesting. But, um, yeah. Three Geos, all teal, all from 1993. Please subscribe, and uh, we'll keep making more of these videos, okay? Thank you very much. We'll see you guys later. Bye.